Hey guys, Silence Zero here. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Cafe Mix. And today, it's a brand new event. So, if you guys have been keeping up to date with me on my YouTube Facebook page, you know that I've actually announced, well, the big cuddly Dragonite is back. So, for those who have not gotten him during his first run, you are finally given another chance to get the big friendly giant. Uh, well, from the 2nd of December, which was yesterday from this time that I'm filming, it's currently the 3rd of December, uh, to the 16th. So yeah, it's your chance to, well, get Dragonite if you haven't yet. If you have already gotten him, well, it's I guess it's the time for us to gain them fruit tarts to, you know, power him up. And, ooh, we are getting new orders. It seems like... Hmm. Well, 650 orders. We are kind of halfway through. <laughs> oh boy. I wonder who is the new Pokemon that we can get from this uh, stage updates. So, interesting. So, you can exchange acorns for boosters and puzzle powers in the shop. Oh? Oh, that's new. You can switch between products on the acorn exchange tab to exchange for an item can exchange for an item even if you have one or more of that item yeah and item set allows you to exchange multiple items blah 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 refining master cafe mode oh they improved it please see our separate news refining master cafe mode for details where is it there it is so we will be refining master cafe mode in ooh so Master Cafe mode won't be able to play. Is that what they're saying? Let's read on. Each order is a puzzle board that is fixed per order number. You play from number one in the Master Cafe mode to the highest order, and once you reach the highest order, you start playing from one. That's pretty much the same thing. Did they really change anything? Oh wait, here is the refined version. So you play in an order that is randomly selected. The current orders in Master Cafe mode will also be selected at random. The order number will start from 1 and will end at 999. Okay, so this is pretty interesting. In the past, Master Cafe mode was basically order 1 to... I think it was 250. Then it resets back to 1. So now they're going to randomize all the orders, I think mainly because well everyone got so used to all the stages that were in master cafe mode and well i guess people got really good <laughs> and started or rather stopped using acorns to clear stages because they just got very good at it <laughs> once you finish the master cafe mode the order number will reset the next time you reach master cafe mode the order number will restart from one Oh, yeah, so in the past, um, if you actually finish all the orders that were in the story mode, I guess, um, yeah, Master Cafe mode will begin. So if you ended, uh, at, let's say for example, order 249, um, before brand new orders were added to the game, uh, and if you finish the brand new set of orders and return back to Master Cafe mode, you will resume from the last order number in Master Cafe mode 249. So this time round, they are saying that it basically restarts to 1 every time this time round. Hmm, the order reach that is displayed in your profile and friend list will not reset. Hmm. It will show the highest number of order you've reached from completing multiple orders in a row. Alright, so that's pretty interesting, I guess. That's one way to change things up. Alright, let's give it our best today, and we hear the big friendly giant flying in! Draw! <laughs> Alright, look at this cute little cuddly big hunk of meat. <laughs> okay, that did not sound right. I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyways, guys, uh, we all know what to do. We just have to, well, keep playing. So, since we already... Ooh, we gotta collect our last rewards, if there is any. So, Slowpoke is slowly moving away. Aww. Alright, so, 
We have Dragon Knight. I mean, we already have him, so technically, we're just doing the regular stages. We do have to try and catch up. 650 orders. That's 229 orders away. Oh, getting further and further away from the finishing line. <laughs> oh well, for the mobile account, that is at least my Nintendo Switch account I've right, chased up. So, all right. Let's refresh. I was hoping to well get someone who hasn't really been attained yet. Oh well. Alright, let's go with Squirtle. So if you guys have already gotten Dragonite, let me know in the comments down below. And what do you think about Dragonite's skill? Has it been useful? Um because so far I have not encountered any of the orders that actually require Dragonite's usage. Oh gosh dang it, I forgot how this level is played. Okay, so the strategy for this level, basically, um, destroy the olives first before, um, you know, destroying the sugar cubes because you can see what happens if you destroy the olives before destroying or rather setting free. Um, the sugar cubes. <laughs> no, actually, no. What am I talking? I'm, I'm just. I apologize. I am very tired. It's, it's after work, and my brain is not functioning well enough. Okay, let's talk serious right now. The strategy for this level is basically to set free the sugar cubes from their ice cube captivity. Then, you destroy the olives with the sugar cubes so that, well, basically, you don't end up having any of the sugar cubes coated in olive oil. So yeah, that's actually the real strategy behind this. Alright, so let's get far away. Oh, 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 I missed one sugar cube. Oh, that was trying to be too greedy, you know, to get that last sugar cube at the bottom. Okay. Okay, let's pull this out. Alright, let's destroy. Oh, gosh dang it! Why do I keep messing it up? Oh boy. Okay, this is entirely my bad. You can see how horrible I'm playing when my mind is exhausted. So, okay, let's retry this and you can see what I'm trying to say here. So, alright, first thing first, let's get Squirtle Icons going and let's set free the sugar cubes. Alright, we're gonna do that for the other side as well. There we go. So we need to power up Squirtle's skill icon. There we go. And now we are going to do this. Okay, let's push them all in. Oh no. Uh oh. Did I just mess this up? He... Ooh, I didn't. Wow. Alright, so there's a lot of Charmander. So let's get Charmander going. We do need to free up the stuff that has been coated in olive oil. Oh boy. Okay, one more time because there's still stuff stuck in olive oil. There we go. Power up this. Oh god, let's get out. Get out of there. Okay. Destroy everything that's remaining. Everything's in the basket. Well, almost. Okay, so all we have to do now is just get a score. So this should make things a lot clearer on the strategy. Ah, boy. Alright. There we go. That should be more than enough. And we have three moves remaining. So yeah, as you can tell, I really fumbled the first try. It shouldn't be that hard. <laughs> Alright, moving along. Oh, we have levels up to level 2. Which means we get to uh, hold Meow's skill a bit longer, which is always fantastic. Because it gives us time to think. Or at least react slower, I suppose. 
Mm. Okay. Do we need to power up Mijino's skill? Technically, no, because, well, they're kind of far apart. Mijino's skill doesn't cover three lanes, but we do need to get rid of the honey. So let's get rid of the honey accordingly. Okay, oh, can we actually get three rows? Oh my goodness, we can. Okay, thank goodness we didn't power it up. But we do need to get rid of um, the honey as soon as possible so we can keep all the items on the low levels. The problem here is the olives. They're going to end up coating the pumpkins and that is going to be a real problem. So what we're going to do is we're going to start pushing the olives away if possible. Okay. Okay, we're going to do this. Right, oh. Okay, making sure there's some distance from the olives to the pumpkin so we don't end up coating the pumpkins. So that's the strategy for this one. Now let's push them all together. Alright, so you don't really need to power up Minchino's skill. Okay, alright, let's get Minchino icons going so we can get the last skill out. And we are good to clear the level. Simple as that! So yeah, just don't make it too difficult for yourself by, you know, having the olives cook the pumpkins. Alright. That wasn't too bad. Alright, and on to the actual orders! We do have our special Pokemon along, so let's make use of the special Pokemon instead of the regular ones. We gotta show off the skills of those that we worked so hard to attain. <laughs> Alright, I completely forgot what Scorbunny's skill is. But oh well, oh well, he, he destroyed things towards the left. Okay. Gotta see where the arrow hit is pointing. Alright. Let's, oh, I was going to say we settled all the caramels. Oh well. Oh, that's a very short range for Scorbunny. Oh well. Okay. Sugar cubes are done over there. Now let's clear this up. Okay. Do we need another one? Okay, we'll clear the sugar cubes here. Technically, we should be clearing the ones inside because the outer ones can be cleared by the icons. So it's really a waste of moves. Um, we should be moving these guys in. Okay. Yep. And they're stuck. <laughs> Uh, retry! Oh boy, maybe we should have just gone with the recommended stuff except from the event Pokemons. Okay, I believe we can do this. I, I really believe we can. So let's do our best. Okay. There we go. Squirtle, let's go. Squirtle. Let's do some Squirtle. Okay. We're gonna power up Scorbunny's skill just to try things out. Alright, Squirtle, Squirtle. There we go. Alright, we're gonna power it up. Let's push all the milk cartons in first. There we go. Alright, let's destroy this. Oh, we can't even reach that. Oh, that was such a waste. Okay. Alright, clearing things out, making sure that only the milk cartons are there. Uh oh. Oh, we are left with one move. Oh no. Oh. We 
We are going to do this. I have faith in Score Bunny. Just gotta be very careful and destroy the sugar cubes that are on the outer side with the icons. You know, the traditional way. Okay. There we go. We do need to move the milk cartons in. Alright. Do we need to power up? Score bunny skill? Maybe? Let's give that a try. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna do this. Not wasting any moves, destroy what I can. There we go. One more. Okay. So we just got to gather as much as we can, destroy all the sugar cubes, let them flow, and we are done! Yes, that took so many tries. Oh, you, you guys didn't see all the tries, but I can tell you it's just frustrating. <laughs> you can see by how many hearts has disappeared from my main menu. <laughs> Basically all of them. Oh god, okay, we're gonna survive through the rest of the orders with just one heart remaining. Let's do our best. Okay, <laughs> alright, going with the recommended... Oh, we have Minum! We're gonna get Minum! Nice! Okay. Seems like powering up Squirtle's skill is going to be the key here. Alright, making sure we get our vegetable crates along with the sugar. I mean, chocolate. Okay, let's get those skill once more. Gotta pay very close attention to the marshmallows. There we go. Power this up, making sure we cover as much as we can. Fantastic. Okay, so we're gonna destroy the chocolate here. And of course, a few icons along. Gotta get that score value. And we're just gonna go all the way in and destroy the marshmallows if possible. And here, we're just gonna use the icons to get a bit of the veggies. Okay. And once we have gotten the veggies a bit, and of course the last marshmallow, we can start using the power art skill you know, to just clean the food. There we go. So simple. And we have Minum. Look at that adorable little boy. <laughs> he has no apron, but that's okay. You know, having a scarf. I don't know what that is called, but it looks like a scarf. I don't know the actual name of that piece of clothing, but it's just adorable. Oh! Friendship bonus! Let's do these people. Oh yeah! Okay. Sadly to say, we don't have any events that requires the stars right now. So friendship bonuses are kind of redundant. Well, except for the fact that you can probably try and get your Pokemon to level up. Or you can get items from those Pokemon that have already maxed out their levels. Alright, so make sure you go for the eggs. I'm gonna use the skill to set free the corn as well. I'm getting some eggs. No help from the <laughs> megaphone summon. That's kind of sad. Okay, let's go. Alright, okay, we don't have a lot of points required now for this skill. So let's just go for the popcorn. Alright. Alright, there we go. Destroying those. Alright, we're gonna power this one up. 
Let's need that surface area covered. Oh, come on. None of the megaphones? You gotta be kidding me. The luck is horrible today. Alright, covering the surface area for all the cones. There's not a lot of icons or stoplin. Should have gone snubble. Alright. Oh. There we go. Okay. I think I'm just gonna use the skill to set through the pawns first. And then from here, okay, we're gonna scoop them out. So we have an easier time destroying everything together once we've gotten the skill powered up. Yeah. There we go! All the popcorn kernels at one time. Making use of all the moves we have. That's fine. As long as the strategy to clear the stage without continuing or retrying, that's basically a good deal. Alright, moving along. Wabafe? Because why not? <laughs> you guys know what I mean. <laughs> Okay, ooh. We gotta set free those tomato bottles. There we go. Okay, we definitely need to get as many of the items released first before we start doing the Waba Fat destruction. Okay, let's get some Waba Fat going. Actually, we should keep the Waba Fat around because Waba Fat skill does. Um, require a majority of a certain icon to duplicate, so it'll be actually better to duplicate Waba Fat's icon so we can keep the skill going. Oh, come on, not a single one hit the pumpkin! You've got to be kidding me. It's just horrible luck. Alright, there we go. Let's try this again. Okay, not too shabby, I think. There we go. Can we push these together? There we go, yes! That's what I like to see. My luck with megaphones may be horrible, but my, luckily my item placements are not too bad. And we got a megaphone in the right direction! Ah, that we can control <laughs> by hand. Alright. I got lucky with this one? Well, unlucky and lucky. Mm, yin yang, well balanced, you know. <laughs> okay, moving along. Okay, let's use the big friendly giant. Let's show off Dragonite skill to those who have not gotten him yet. Are you excited to attain him? <laughs> I mean, if you guys are brand new to Pokemon Cafe Mix, that is. Oh well, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to bully you guys. Alright, so let's destroy as many of the olive oils, I mean olives first. Um, at the same time with the sugar cubes because we don't want them to end up getting re-coated by the olive. Oh, oh come on. Okay, so let's do this. There we go. Hmm, it's time to set free some of the whipped creams. So let's just do that, covering as many of the sugar cubes as possible. So we don't have to use the skill to destroy them. Okay, all the whipped creams are out though. There we go. We do need to destroy two more olives. Okay, can we use Dragonite skill? There we go, and he's gonna summon a bunch of megaphones if I'm not wrong. Oh no, he uses a skill twice. Oh, it's been a while since I used Dragonite. Completely forgot what he does. Okay, 
Okay. This is looking okay. Because the whipped creams are technically just destroyable with one hit. So, wow! Kind of struggled. But I guess we got a bit lucky near the end. Hmm. You're right. Jigglypuff. Looking at your twin. Ooh. Okay, so we've got some struggles ahead, especially when it comes to mixing the milk canisters. Oh boy. Okay, let's let's get rid of some of the chestnuts first. Yeah, there we go. Now let's just use the icons to set things free. Fantastic. Okay. Pushing them down, possible? Nope. They're not moving at all. Alright, let's do this. All the chestnuts are gone. We do need a link combo of 27. So let's try our best. Yeah, there we go. We got a 30. Oh, we didn't get the chance to scoop them down. It's okay. Alright. Oh god, oh god. Okay, come on. Yeah, there we go. Now it's time to stir things up. Yeah, last one. Come on. Let's destroy the icons with Jiggly skill. Push them together. Yes! That felt good. <laughs> okay. Who's next? It's been a while since we've seen... Ooh, Dragonite! Hello, big boy! Yeah, it's been a while since we see anyone new. Oh, we have Snorlax. Let's use this Snorlax. It's an event Pokemon that we get through the raid events. Our very first raid event. Let's see what this big boy can do. His icons are huge! Do they actually look bigger than the rest? It kind of does, doesn't it? I don't know. Let me just my visual perspective. Okay, pushing the tomatoes in. Okay, snubble. Let's drag these guys in. Go. Snorlax. Come on, put that, put that red thing in. All right. No, we didn't go in. <laughs> okay, so let's try and push the pumpkins. Oh, the animation was so cute! This is barely to flatten the door. So hilarious. Okay, so we just got to get that last pumpkin down. Come on. Aww. That's okay, I guess. Let's get this tree going. Can we push this down? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh no! I'm on my last move! Oh! I believe we can do this with that 3 added moves. So I'm just gonna go for it. Alright, let's push these guys down. Okay. Okay. Yes! There we go. <laughs> so that was kind of careless. Oh, look, Dragon Eye is here. Oh, are we getting the animation for him? Nope, apparently not. I mean, we already have him in the cafe. So I think that's pretty interesting. Hey, but at least we get to level up Dragon Knight the traditional way rather than using the fruit tarts you know whatsoever so that's kind of nice considering that we don't have to waste items on him if we want to level up event pokemon so mm, big plus right let's get all the 
marshmallows that we can destroy first. There we go. Okay. Don't really have to power up Lucario's skill. The only problem is the tomato bottles. The lossons. So let's make use of the pretty one. There we go. Clear out the fruit cans. We should have tied with a few marshmallows. Now we kind of did. It's not too bad. Okay. Mm, should we push them together? Yeah, we should. There we go. So all the destroyables are destroyed. Now we just need that score. But voila! I just like that. Eat up, big boy. So many stars away from its max level. Huh. Gotta work hard. Alright, uh, executor. Go, let's go. Clearing the whole bunch of caramels. There we go. Oh, missed out a bit. That's okay. At the same time, let's get the honey. Oh, inactivated the skill. Oh, that wasn't enough range. Okay, so let's get rid of the last honey in that corner. Fantastic. Alright, let's now clear the honey over here. We do need to get rid of the colors. Okay. okay, with this. Hopefully this helps. Yes, there we go. Alright. Oh. Okay, so now we really need to just bring all the olives closer together so we can just destroy them using the skill oh okay never mind let's just do this and we're done <laughs> not so much for a complex finishing simple as that Hey, we are on our 10th stage. So that means to pick up items and to finish things off with this level. Or oh, Dino, oh boy. Megaphone levels. <sighs> Alright, this one isn't that tough. Just got to make sure we destroy the pumpkins. So yes, let's gather the pumpkins, set them free. Right, it's a lot of Starly, so let's make use of Starly. Okay. Let's bring the pumpkins together. Alright, so let's make use of this skill and set the megaphones free! Woo! It's so fun. <laughs> Alright, so let's destroy as many of the chocolates as possible. One more time. Okay. Alright, let's do this again. Hopefully this time, uh, you've got to make sure that the green line uh, is not being blocked by the pumpkins whatsoever. Oh god, none of the pumpkins are being destroyed. Okay, okay, come on. I just need a skill icon to get lucky. There we go. Oh yes, all the pumpkins are gone. Now we just need to get rid of the chocolates and we are mm, done. Fantastic. Alright guys, you know, this is it!
<laughs> We've done our 10 orders. Let me know guys what you think of the friendly giant coming back and one of the levels designs. Um, let me know in the comments down below as usual. Uh, leave a like to this video if you enjoyed my a bit more crazy commentary this time around. And if you guys are brand new, subscribe because you guys know you need my help. Nah, just kidding. You guys are good. I'm sure you guys are like way further ahead in the orders than I am. But you know, you just like to see the tips and tricks you know, to clearing these levels if they do appear for your masterclass stages. So thank you guys so much for joining me on another episode. If you guys enjoyed yourself, like I said, hit that like button down below and subscribe and all the good jazz, you know. And I'll see you guys in the next one soon. Until then, bye.